Hey guys, Swissy here. I'm going to set up presence detection using the Bluetooth on my phone and a Raspberry Pi. I downloaded the last Raspbian, installed it on the SD card and enabled SSH. Then I connected with Buddy over SSH to the Pi. All links will be in the description. For the detection, we are going to use Andrew his presence script. It's way faster than his new one monitor script for me, so I'm using the old one. For installation, he says to install Raspbian on your Pi, which we already did, SSH into it, and change your password. I will do that later, but you should use a secure password here. Then you should upgrade your system, but since we are using a new download, it should be pretty clean. So I'm going to skip that step. The Bluetooth got configured for me already, but let's just install it just to be sure. We can skip the old Blues upgrade since he's using a way older version than we are and we should be able to skip this reboot. Again, since he's using an old system, he had to set up a lot of things for Mosquito. We only have to execute the last line, but we don't have aptitude on our system, so we're just going to change that into apt-get install. Let it run. It might be slower for you, since I'll, I already did the install before, so just let it go. Let's go into our home directory and install the git package manager. Again, this might be slower for you, I already did the install. Now it's time to clone his script onto our system. This is real time, it's a small script, so it's pretty fast. And move into that directory. Now set up our MQTT so the script knows how to connect to our MQTT server. We copy his configuration in there and we need the IP address of our system. That's just our home assistant box, so we will use that IP address. As for the port, unless you changed it yourself, the default should be fine at 1883. And the user, if you followed my videos, we did set it up before, you can find it in configuration, users, there is my MQTT user. For every device you want to add, it's best to add a new user, give it a secure name and password, not like I did, but since this is my best setup, I'm fine with that. Okay, so the script will post to the MQTT broker and it needs to know where to put things. Since this is my Bluetooth tracking, I will call it Bluetooth. And since this Pi will be in my living room, I'm going to call it Living Room. Control X and yes to save this file. The next step is to tell the script what devices to look for. So we're going to edit this file, get the MAC address of our phone. How you find that, best to google it for your specific device, because it depends on the device and type. If you have multiple devices, just add more lines in here. Ctrl X, yes, again, and save it. Now let's turn the script into a service, so it will start with our Ubuntu when the Pi uh, boots up, or not Ubuntu, Raspbian when the Pi boots up, and it's always active. So let's go into that file. It's not created normally, so I already have it in there. Just copy paste this information in there. I did make a change to the exec start, and I added the dash C at the end. Why? Normally the script will scan every 15 seconds or about that when you're home and every 3 seconds or something when it didn't find you before. And every time it scans it will put a message into your MQTT broker 
even if there is no change. With the dash key, it will only post changes, so it will be less spammy on your network. Up to you if you keep it, it has advantages, it has disadvantages. I prefer to keep my network clean. Control X, yes, to save again. Now let's enable the service. And let's start up the service. There we go. Now we should get messages into our MQTD broker as soon as we get in range or go out of range. Now let's go into Home Assistant and our Visual Studio Code so we can actually use it in there. First thing, very important, we are going to use a device tracker. So we have to tell Home Assistant to load that integration. Now to get our sensor in there, we copy the code on Andrew his uh, GitHub page and we paste it. Now if we do it like this, Home Assistant will think it's a device tracker already. It's not. It just tells us if we're in range or not. So it's actually a sensor. If you already have sensors, make sure to put it under there and not put a new sensor in here because that will break your system. Make sure your indentations are correct. And let's have a look what we need to set up. So remember how we said it's a Bluetooth tracking, so we tell it Bluetooth. It's in my living room. And now to tell it what device to look for. That's the device. And what device is that? It's my phone Bluetooth, but it's in the living room. Why do I add that? In case I ever add another Pi in my bedroom or my backyard, I can use the same phone and it will tell me here what device it is or where it's connected. Let's save that, close it up, go to configuration, go to server controls and check our config. Everything is fine. Let's restart our server. Now we will know if we are in range of the Bluetooth, but it's still not a device tracker. But lucky Andrew on his other monitor script, he told us how to turn it into one. So we're going to copy this already and wait for Home Assistant to restart. There it is. Let's go to Overview and you can see it found phone Bluetooth living room, but it doesn't have a value. Remember how we did at the dash C, since nothing changed, the script didn't post anything and Home Assistant has no information until the next change happens. Let's go into Visual Studio Code, Automations and post the code from Andrew. So let's make this phone home. We don't need to hide entity, that's something that's going to get removed from Home Assistant soon, so let's delete that. Our trigger is a numeric state, but this is not our sensor. So let's put a point instead, and Visual Studio Code will all uh, instantly tell us, hey, this is a sensor you can use, so let's use that. Above 10, that's fine. Action. We will put a device tracker dot C. What do we call a device tracker? I call it the same as a sensor. We put the location as home because that's where we are. And we remove the Bluetooth part. The other part we basically do the same, but not home. Again, remove the hide entity. Numeric state is fine, but our sensor, we have to put to the correct one. Device tracker.c, what ID, this thing. And I'm going to remove the Bluetooth again. Save it with Ctrl S, 
close it up configuration server controls check our config and reload the automations now for our device tracker to show up we first have to connect or disconnect our phone to, uh, bluetooth so i'm turning on the bluetooth now and you will see this go to 100 i'll turn it off instantly and we go to configuration again into persons and here you can click on your name this is for my testing so now that we have a device tracking set up we can pick a device tracker here and it already created one so we click on it update and on the overview it will tell us if we're home or not again as you can see it's a little slow on going away but that's fine so in case you go out of range you want instant away it has some safeguard for you and it will go down once you get a range it's pretty fast on the seconds uh, and it will tell you home as soon as this goes to zero we should be away in the system so let's have a look at that And one more scan. And we are away. Now if I turn on Bluetooth again on my phone, turning it on now, it's pretty fast to detect me. And I'm back home. That's it. Enjoy.